welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Danae and this is Budgeting with Nurse Nay. And in this video, I'm going to be stuffing my last week of April um, savings challenges for 2022. So week four of April 2022 savings challenges. And then I'll be coloring them as well. So if that sounds like something that interests you, then stay tuned. Okay, guys. So... I think I'm going to move this over here and then I'm going to move this on the side for now, this binder, and we're going to use, move the carrots up a little bit. You can still see the money, right? Yep, you can still see the money. Move this like this so that I can see everything. I have my cheat sheet over here for my savings challenges, my envelopes, and this is my savings challenge um, binder that I made myself. Um, obviously, I ordered this cover page. It says Budgeting with Nurse Nay. I bought my own um, rings, Happy Planner rings to put on it. And the savings challenges I'm using are from Taylor Budgets and Rochelle Adams Budgets. I just kind of mixed some in there and choose which ones I wanted to do. So um, I will link them below in the description below. Everything you see is linked in the description below. So if it interests you, you know where to find it. Um, so yeah, let's get started with my first savings challenge. <clears throat> so first one will be treat yourself. Um, each one of these sections here are worth $10 each. And at the end of the video, I will have a section where I'm going to color these in. Um, some people like to watch it, so I put it at the end. If you like to watch it, you can watch it. If not, that's okay too. Um, but I just like to explain it's at the end. So at the end of this challenge, I should have $650. Just for me, I'm not sure what I'm going to use it yet for, but I have time to think about it. So, but it's just going to be for something for me. So, um, so my first binder, or my first envelope here is going to be treat yourself. Um, treat yourself is going to get ten dollars this time. So we're going to do one of these marks, and I will count this um, at the end when I count my sinking funds. Uh, at the end of the month when I count that and maybe do a possible bill exchange if I need to too because um, these envelopes are smaller and I don't want them to get kind of you know wore out or whatever so um, so yeah that's ten dollars for that one that was pretty easy let's go to the next one these are Taylor budgets I'll let you know when we get to Rochelle Adams so these are Taylor budgets this is my Christmas challenge um, and this challenge there's a key here for each of the designs, they're worth a certain amount of money. And at the end, I should have $600 once I fill all these in. Um, so the Christmas challenge, I'm going to do $20, which I believe is this candy cane right here because I kind of skipped that. So we're going to do $20 in there. That is one $20 bill. And I'm just, like I said, stuffing in the envelope, and I'll count it at the end when uh, we count and see how much we've saved so far at the end of the month. And then the next one... Let's see, it's also Taylor Budgets, it's Get to the Bag. Um, each one of these bags are worth $20. Um, I'm not sure at the end, I think it's 2000 yep, 2K, 2K challenge. So at the end of this, I should have 2K. And I'm just going at my own pace, stuffing how much I can. And um, yeah, it'll be done when it's done. And if I finish it, I finish it. If I don't, I don't. You know, it's just, it's just I'm combining the savings challenges, trying to save as much as I can, and but having multiple savings challenges and making it fun too at the same time so um so I did one bag this time so it'll be $20 for that and I will stuff that in there in this envelope here I don't know is it easier for you guys to like read them like this maybe I don't know it's just easier to read that way maybe let's do that all right next challenge is 22 in 2022 um, each of these are $22 and I color them in. At the end I should have saved $440. Um, I will probably finish this one before the year's up so then I'll, I'll pick another challenge to do. Um, probably within the 20 weeks I'll finish this and then another 26 weeks or whatever I'll probably finish another one. Um, so, but now we're doing the 2022 challenge. So I did one twenty-two, so that'll be a $20 bill if I can grab it without destroying everything here. And two ones, so 21 and two. And like I said, I'm just stuffing it in here. We'll clean it up at the end of the month. And the next video probably will be my sinking fund count and my small bill exchange. So, 
Uh, next challenge is also Taylor Budgets. It's Where Are We Going? This is my um, vacation savings challenge. Uh, I did not put an end date, but I'm going, I'm going with my kids and my parents to Myrtle Beach in uh, the first week of September. If you don't know, I'm from Michigan. I'm a travel nurse from Michigan. I guess I should have mentioned that, but if you don't know already, I am a travel nurse and I live in Michigan. So we're going to Myrtle Beach at the beginning of September. And at the end of this, once this is filled out, I should have $1,000. Um, so that's why I'm putting some of my vacation envelope as well, my sinking fund, just because I feel like I might need a little bit more because I like to shop when I'm on vacation too and the kids like to buy stuff too. So um, so where are we going? I'm putting $30 in this time. I think I'm going to do one of these umbrellas right here. Um, so that would be a 20 and a 10. Like I said, I'm stretching this money, guys. I'm stretching this money, trying to get every envelope filled in that I can. All right, so we'll put that in there. All right, and I'll throw these in at the end. You can watch me color at the end if you'd like. Um, oh, snap savings is going to do $20. So I'm going to do this 20 right here. We're going to put a 20 in there. And then, yeah, so we'll put that in there. All right, oops. There we go. All right. And then I think at the end of this, I'll have a thousand dollars once this is all filled in as well. And like I said, I'm going at my own pace, you know, taking my time. Uh, rainy day savings challenges. Uh, each one of these rainbows are worth ten dollars. There's forty of them, so at the end, I'll have four hundred dollars saved. And like I said, this probably won't take me the whole year either, so I might do another savings challenge, you know, for the other twenty-six weeks kind of thing. So rainy day, I'm doing one rainbow, which is ten dollars. I'll put a $10 bill in here. All right. Oops. If I can, like, oh my goodness, they're all sticking together. Oh no, this is still, no, nope, there we go. All right, next is Random Challenge. Now, Random Challenge has different color circles. There's purple, beige, and black. Each one is worth a different denomination, $20, $30, $40. At the end of when all these circles are filled in, it should be $1,650. I didn't put an end date because I don't know when it's going to end. So I'm just kind of going at my own pace, like I said. Uh, so the random challenge, I put $40 in. We're going to fill this last black circle right here, which will be two 20s. All right. Put that in the back there. Okay, and then that is it for this binder. Put this aside. We'll grab my other nice new binder. This is my new binder I bought, my luxury binder. I love it. It's nice and quilted, and it's got the teal inside and the rose gold here. I just, I love it. It's so pretty. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna turn it this way too, just like that one, because the envelopes are facing this way. If I can get it to stay down. Um, this is my dashboard, girl boss. I just thought it was cute. Um, so, okay. So, we'll go to the next one here. The next one is the monthly challenge. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to be finished because this is the last week I'm stuffing it. And I wasn't going to stuff all of these because it was, like, too much. I didn't have enough plus 50, you know. It was too much. So, I think what I did was I did stuff one $50 bill. So, I'm just going to stuff this 50 and not these ones. Um, so these are just going to be blank, but if I stuffed them all, I would have had $200. So we'll see, um, when I do the end of the month, um, sinking fund count, we'll see how much I actually saved in here. Um, so it'll be one $50 bill. And like I said, I'm just doing it my own pace and I save what I can save. Hey, anything saved is better than not saving, right guys? <laughs> all right. So that one's done there. And next is Zero Out Challenge. A Zero Out Challenge I is basically at the end of every week. Um, I check my bank account on Friday and I see what the change is. And this time I had 21 cents. And so I take the 21 cents and make it $21. And I stuff that in this envelope. So, oh wait, did I, not, did I miss one? I must have missed the nickel challenge. All right, we'll go back to it. Um, so the Zero Out Challenge is 21. I must have missed it. So 20 and 1. Sorry about that, guys. I'm just not paying attention, I guess. All right. So there's the zero out challenge. I think I missed the nickel challenge here. Okay, yep. So this monthly challenge, the nickel challenge, and the zero out challenge are all Rochelle Adams challenges. And she has one for every month, which is what I will be doing every month then. So you guys will get to see all those. Oops. 
kind of came out there. There we go. Um, so the nickel challenge is what we missed. So let's go back to that. Um, so I need to fill out these tens, these twenties, these fifties, these hundreds here at the end of this, which will probably take me all year. Hopefully I'll get it all filled out. If I don't, I don't, but I'm going to try to, um, and I will have $5,000 at the end of this. So this time I'm putting in a $10 bill. We're going to get one of this tens here filled in. I'll put the 10 in here. All right, is that right? Yeah, okay. All right, and we did the zero out challenge, and that is all those challenges in that book. Now, there's still money sitting here, as you can see. So this is saved for my 100 envelope challenge box right here. So cute, I got it personalized. I'll link it down below where I got it from. But yeah, they personalized it with my YouTube name on it. I thought it was really cute. Um, this is my tracker. I'm filling in my trackers when I fill in the envelope so I can keep track of it. Um, so this week I am doing the number three and the number 60. So I decided to do a bigger one and a smaller one. I'm trying to kind of get some of this money in here. But like I said, I had to spread the money kind of thin this week again. So. Hopefully I'll start getting some bigger numbers stuffed, but 60 is pretty, pretty decent size number. Okay, set this aside here. So let's do the three. It should be all these ones here. One, two, three, these nice crisp ones. And this, at the end of this, I should have a little over $5,000. I think it's like $5,050 or something like that. Um, I'm not sure exactly how much I think it is, but yeah, it's 5,050 right here. Uh, so this will definitely take probably 52 weeks to do. Um, and then this is the $60. And um, what it is, if you haven't heard of the 100 envelope challenge, you can take regular envelopes and, um, oops, let me see here, I don't think I'm pulling this up right. You can take regular dollar store envelopes and number them one through 100, which is what I did last year and kind of decorated them myself. Um, and just uh, use those envelopes as well. And just stuff those it's just a lot of envelopes to open at the end of the year which is this is kind of nice and this is reusable which is why I decided to do this this year and I just numbered them right here in the corner um, but I did not make them I told you I'd link you in the below the description below who made this so if you guys are interested in buying it you can um, so yeah but I just thought this was much easier to get you know un unpack at the end of the year <laughs> unstuff I guess uh, because the envelopes were a lot to un un open and everything um, and I wanted to do it on camera but sadly um, life happened and I had a car crash and things happened and so I wasn't able to do it on camera but hopefully this year I will unbox these and everything at the end of the year and we'll do like a Q&A or something about me and yeah we'll take all these out and see how much we saved so yeah that is all I have for you this time um, I want to thank you so much for watching uh, please hit the subscribe button if you have not yet um, and hit that no notification bell. It lets you notif it notifies you every time I post a video. Um, also hit the like button please if you like the video. It helps the algorithm of my channel, helps to get my content out there. Um, and also leave a comment down below. I love talking with you guys, chatting with you guys, just saying hi. Um, yeah, and so I'm going to say goodbye for now and then next we're going to do coloring. So. Bye guys. Okay guys, so this is going to be the coloring portion of the video. Um, if you'd like to watch this, you can. If not, that's okay too. I'm going to play some music and speed it up a little bit. So enjoy. Thanks guys for watching.